We're gonna try this again. Gotta get my flight sim back up and we'll uh, do the same thing. Hopefully this time we'll crash. Let's see. All right, so guys, I had to do an update. It was a mandatory update. Um, it was small, 354 megabytes. And uh, so it, it updated in Windows Store. Now I'm waiting for Flexens to uh, back up, start back up. And yes, Roman, that's nice. I'm going to Louisiana next weekend. Uh, my uncle passed away this morning. This time I'll just start off on the night. I'm not going to worry about starting the cold and dark start. There's that better. Okay, now i got to do the update in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay. 
Yeah, normally I guess I wouldn't talk during the intro, but um, since I'm having to update before I can get started, it is what it is. See, I can't hear anything. I can't hear how everything is set up. I can't hear the sounds or anything because it'd be confusing. I'd have to turn on. It is what it is. See, I can't hear anything. Unless I turn up the volume on Facebook, but then it's like, I don't know. So would I do that in the microphone setting, uh, Coop? This is great. So here's my intro. Here's the program starting up. <laughs> Play the music. Progression bar at the bottom, but no image. How crazy is that? Okay, this is this is really weird. Ah, didn't think it was gonna come up. Alrighty, I'm gonna get the flight ready here, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change uh, the. Whoa, man, what's going on? I'm gonna go ahead and change the graphics. Let's see what am I on? I'm on high end. I'll go to medium, see how it works. Hopefully it won't look too bad. All right, we're going to start out again at the Bob Hope Airport. Um, all right. We're going to start off with runway 26. All right, let's see how this works this time. Woo, I got four viewers. That's wonderful. <laughs> hey, man, appreciate it if anybody watches. Mm. Okay, um, I added a compression, uh, but I didn't mess with it, so I don't even know if it sounds better or not, uh, Coop. But you can let me know. Of course, right now the music's not on. Oh, I'm thirsty. Gotta have my water. We need to hydrate. This humidity in Houston is... It's so humid in here. Ah. Okay, let's see if it doesn't lock up. No, okay. Whoa. That's pretty bad. Alright. Okay. So I got my TED tracker to work, so what I'll do is disable it. Sometimes it makes you guys too dizzy. Um, but anyway, so. All right, so I got that. And throttle. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Trim down, trim down. All right, let's take a left turn here. We'll go uh, head back over to Hollywood. All right, a little smoother since I put it on medium, and the graphics still look pretty good for medium. Look at that a little later, Coop, because I got to figure out how to hear it, you know. Because, oh man, come on, 
trim is like so messed up. Alright, frequency change approved. Alright, so here we go, loop. And stall warning. Gonna cut the throttle on the down part and then get it back going again. make everybody sick. Okay, vomit comet. Whoa. Alright. Mm. Hey, you think I can knife edge these buildings? Let's see. Oh, man. Whoa! Alright. Hey guys, y'all type in there if I'm if it's if my uh, you know you me using my head tracking is kind of distracting. I'll try to move. Remember to move slower. So yeah, this is on medium settings. This is on medium settings, and actually the graphics aren't too bad. So. Alright, coming by the Hollywood sign again, the Hollywood. So I remember now who it was that was playing a concert there at the Griffith, Griffith Observatory, Observatory a while back in a, at a music um, award show or something. And up we go! And it was Linkin Park. And there's a couple of their songs I like, and they played they played one of my favorite ones. I can't even remember the name of it, but uh, it was pretty cool. All right, where's the Hollywood sign? And I guess is that like a, a visitor center or something up there by the, above the Hollywood sign? So where is the Griffith Observatory? Over here, it's this way. Yeah, there it is, straight ahead. In a little while, we'll go over there. I guess it's L downtown LA. Glendale, California. I would go into settings. Whoa, that was weird. All right, let's do this. Let's just lock my head tracker. So uh, this uh, setting MVC or X264, it, I assume that's in the settings, but what uh, uh, what section of settings? All right, so I'm going to around downtown LA for as big as LA is I guess it's really oh yeah Pink Floyd yeah I think they did that here in Houston we have a um, oh what do you call it um, 
Oh, it's you go in, it's a big dome, and it shows the stars, uh, whatever. Uh, planetarium, yes, that was a planetarium. Um, and the planetarium, they did that there, but I did not go to that. I didn't see it, but I remember it coming here. Under streaming. All right, under stream. I'm not seeing it. Um, I see stream, service, server, output. All right, that'll be cool. Maybe screenshot it and put it on a Discord for me there, Coop. How, how is it streaming now? Uh, is it streaming pretty good? I don't know why, but I can't find the, the Griffith Observatory anymore. Where in the world is it? All right. Good, good. I'm glad it's coming through good. All right, Eddie, I, I cannot find the Griffith Observatory. I pass right by it. Oh, I wonder if because I'm on medium settings, it's not showing up. Hmm, but it seems like it would show something. All right. Oh, is this where it is? And there's nothing there. Hey guys, tell me, with me using my uh, head tracker, the track IR, and turning my head, is it is it distracting or is it okay? Guys, I need your help, man. Where's the Griffith, Griffith Observatory? I thought it was here at the end of this little range here where the Hollywood sign is. Oh, nobody's watching. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Alrighty. Oh, is this it over here? There it is. And I don't know how I missed that. Lincoln Park did a concert there, or some award show, probably on YouTube. drive up all these little roads going up here all right oh, wait a minute let's go over here let's check out Glendale this is about probably as close as I'll get to California is uh flying it <laughs> flying it in the uh, flight simulator uh, near drink 
Hey there, Lou Wood. How you doing? I apologize for not uh, welcoming you as quickly as you uh, put uh, put up there. And uh, I need to set up my alerts so that I know when I get a little ding or something when somebody. Uh, Somebody leaves a comment or a like or something, you know? I need to set that up. Stupid ATC. I need to remember to turn that off. All right, so here's Glendale, a little small community, I guess, on the outskirts near L.A. Ooh, yeah, we're looking at it upside down. Okay, so, what is this over here? Oh, it's a freeway. Big on-ramp. Alright. Uh, so, let's see, we got a Cessna over here. November 137RJ. Romeo Juliet. Okay, so, let's see, you, uh... Eddie, you said the Dodger Stadium is there. Okay, just north of the downtown skyscrapers. All right, let's go fly. Let's go fly over uh, Dodger Stadium. Looks like I'll probably hit it the way I'm going right now. On the outside view. And on the outside view, the plane noise. You'll probably can't hear me as good. I still got my trim is like messed up. Uh, my monitor, Eddie, I have a 35 inch ultra wide curve. Um, so I have two of them actually, but I only use one for the flight. There it is. There's Dodger Stadium. I see it. Pretty good, pretty well rendered there. And I'm on medium settings. This is actually pretty cool. I'm on medium settings just because I'm streaming and I don't want to overtax my system. Um, oh, by the way, um, I was having a lot of crash to desktops, especially in VR. And I read somewhere about changing the page file size, so I did that. Did what they recommended. Um, other than the crash to desktop I just had, I mean that was more than just a crash to desktop. It was, it was everything. Everything shut off. Uh, but I haven't done it in VR yet to make sure that it works that way. So I need to try that and see if it helps. I think it. Uh, I think it did, though. Alrighty. There's some helicopter pads. Look at that. Man, we got some places to fly the helicopter here in L.A. Just hop from one building to the next. Look <laughs> at all those helicopter pads. That's pretty cool. All right, let's fly over to LAX and buzz some of the planes. So I'm going to do something here, see how this works. I'm going to go straight up. And when I start to slow down, I'm going to kick.
take it over. <laughs> Whoa. All right. LA Lakers play right. Yeah, I was I was wondering if that was the Lakers uh where they play. And uh, Eddie, you're talking about the round, the round stadium there? So is that it right there, the round stadium? Yeah, it's the Staples Center. Okay. Yeah, they played the Staples Center. Okay. Nokia. All right, cool. All right, we got to go bust some planes over here at uh, LAX. to my stream hit the like button notifications as I swing back and forth and make you drunk there we go yeah I like making those plain noises like I was when I was a kid and then of course you know you got to have your gun noises pew 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 Definitely hit the like button, share the stream if you like it, and uh, hopefully I'll be coming up with some good ideas. I'm also will be doing uh, streams with American Truck Simulator, a set, a set of Corsa uh, here on the channel. Uh, that's why I'm named Pilot Driver because I like piloting and driving. settings it's a little little square thing sticking up in the air like pillars uh, Los Angeles International yeah Ooh. stargazer oh wow check that out he's got I don't know if that's a, uh, but he's got something coming out the tips of his wings and his horizontal stabilizer, unless it was just the way it was looking. He looks like an Airbus, but I bet he's probably flying a 730, uh, 747 or something. So we're going to uh, follow this guy in. So, Stargazer 12, number 891, whoever you are, uh, maybe you'll find my stream, and uh, maybe you'll find my stream and you'll see yourself land. Oh, man, you're slowing down. Dude, you are, like, really close to the airport for a landing. You should have been a lot lower than that. Let's get a dive bomb the runway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eddie, the graphics are actually not bad. Alright, so this guy, he's like, uh, he had to hurry up and turn around and get down. getting down come on get down get down get it down he's already got his spoilers up all right not bad not bad I like that 
Yeah. Oh, he's running off the runway. All right, this SkyWest 2951 is probably a, um, you know, they, they will, no, no, oh, good. Whew, that scared me. Um, Microsoft will actually have real flights that are out there uh, flying around in generic planes. Alrighty, so we're gonna see if there's somebody we can buzz that I know is a player. And I don't mean a player, I mean a player. A sim player. Alright. I think they updated LAX when uh, they had the world update for uh, US. Some Southwest planes. I guess Southwest flies to LA. All geeked up. All right, what's that noise? Probably an outer marker. All right, we're gonna try to buzz this plane. I know it's not a multiplayer player, 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 real plane. That's, uh, There it is. Woo. Oh man. Alright, we're gonna watch this this plane land. Hey, he came from Houston, K I A H. Cool. United Airlines, one six four seven. Somebody look that up on Google and see if they've landed. United Airlines, one six four seven from Houston to Los Angeles. Oh, you can hear them. Had that reverse thrust going. Whoa! Oh! Ha ha ha! Oh man, that was terrible. Uh, let's get me back up in the air. Yeah, I'll cheat a little bit. Alrighty, there we go. Oh ho ho ho. All right, so I'm going to do something funny here. I'm going to change the weather to stormy. We're going to see how this plane handles in the storm. All right, so let's go. All right, so what are my winds? Um, let's see, what are my winds? Now, I love doing the storm uh, with the with the body of water, like the ocean or a lake, because you can see how it turns it up. It's got white caps and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. Now I'm getting this grid line in here, and I, yeah, that's because of the the water levels going below some sort of uh, grid graphic border or something, I guess. All right, we're done with the storm. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right, so let's see. We've been to LAX, downtown Los Angeles, the Hollywood sign, the Griffith Observatory. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that wind layer is still in here. Okay. The 
big harbor here. Maybe a bunch of rich folks with some boats, sailboats and such. So we're going to go over here to Santa Monica. So I guess L.A. is... I mean, the L.A. area includes all of this, like Burbank, Glendale, Santa Monica. Um, go to the Queen Mary, okay. Um, where's the Queen Mary? Marina del Rey. So there's Santa Monica. Alright, so Marina Del Rey. You know what? Let me get my um let's see. Alright, let me get my um, flight events going here. So let's see. Oh, is that the one he, he crashed at? Okay. Um, let's see. Dude, I have no idea where Marina Del Rey is, so. Follow the coast south. Okay, I'm doing that. Hey, uh, Eddie, so did they render the, the Queen Mary in uh, the sim? Oh, there's Long Beach. Okay. song about Marina Del Rey? Looks like a power plant. Starting to have some hiccups here. It's So we're looking for Marina Del Rey, and we're going to find uh, the Queen Mary. And that, hey, uh, Eddie, they, the Queen Mary, they turned that into like a hotel, didn't they?
Oh, it's back towards Santa Monica, dude. I'm flying the wrong way. Dude. Oh, Queen Mary's in Long Beach? Oh, well. Okay, so Long Beach is over here. Oh, I thought you told me Marina Del, uh, Qu Queen Mary was in uh, Marina Del Rey. Misunderstood, my friend. All right, I'm gonna cut across here to Long Beach. From what I can see, I'm gonna go about this direction. All right. Eddie says I'm good. We're gonna buzz the tower at this field, even though there's no tower. Negative Ghost Rider. Whoa. I'm um, gonna buzz it inverted. Yeah, see there's no no tower here. At Zamperini Field. Let's get a little lower. I wonder if I can touch that vertical stabilizer. Oh. Almost. <laughs> Hey, uh, so Eddie, Long Beach, um, is that where they have, like, a lot of the ports, shipping ports, so a lot of goods come in on Long Beach? all the container uh, the cranes that lift the containers off the container ships all right so somewhere around here we should have the Queen Mary that's been turned into a hotel I need to do some fixing here unless it's just my graphics setting because I'm on medium. See all those containers and they got they got trees growing out of the containers. Good grief. Oh, there it is. Is that the Queen? No, that's not the Queen Mary. <laughs> oh my goodness, you got to look at this. This is that cruise ship. Oh my goodness. Cruise ship had trees growing out of it. Check that out. That is, and there's a container ship with some. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. End of Terminal Island. Yeah, like I know where that is, Eddie. <laughs> oh man. You leave for cruises here? Yeah, we, we go on cruises out of Galveston here here from Houston. And look at all those containers. Woo! Looks like they need a gardener.
some container ships over there. Almost there, all right. Those look like naval ships. Okay. So over here, look around for a known building. I think it's straight ahead here. It's a white dome building straight ahead. There it is. So in that dome building is where they have the spruce goose. Yep, there's Queen Mary. They got it, Eddie. Got a tree growing right in the middle of it. There's a cruise ship about ready to take off. Head out to sea. There it is. Of course, these trees growing out of the middle of boats isn't a good thing. Um, probably need to turn the tree down or do something. I wonder if there's a setting to help get rid of that. Alrighty. And here we go. Uh, my PC, uh, the specs of my PC, I have, um, I have the Ryzen 7 3700X processor. I have the 5700 XT, the Radeon 5700 XT graphics card, 64 gigs of RAM. I did have 32 gigs of RAM, but when I, and then I upgraded to 64, it really didn't make a difference. But I figured it would help with processes and things like that, especially uh, if I go video, do video editing, things like that. And uh, I have two monitors, uh, two 35-inch ultrawides uh, running at the same time. So, Perry, thanks for stopping by. Uh, click the like button, click the notifications, and uh, see me when I fly again. I also uh, do uh, American Truck Simulator and a set of Corsa. And also I have a, a RC plane simulator, a Real Flight uh, 9.5, I think. All right, so, so there's the Queen Mary. There's a cruise ship about to take off. And... Uh, from what I understand, somewhere down there also is the Spruce Goose. Had one short little flight and that was it. Just to prove that it could fly. But hey Barry, um, I would get a more powerful uh, video card if you can. This 5700 XT actually is pretty good. but. really want a 6700 or a 6800. Whoa! Yeah, that was a horrible landing. Alright, well, that's a crash landing if I've ever seen one. So let me uh, get myself up right in. There we go. So I was thinking about dr throwing out the drone. Go fly around on the drone here. Uh, showcase drone. All right, so let's, uh, uh, let's yeah, speed up the drone speed, this is going to be too slow, there we go, all right, so this is our Queen Mary, oh, over here, sorry, Queen Mary, looking pretty, 
pretty uh, blocky and trees. cruise ship all right so these are the container I guess a uh, lot of shipping comes in from China here uh, if I'm not mistaken and uh, Is shipped out all over the country. I like to find me some background music because flying the drone like this, no sound at all. Oh. Let's see what happens if I go under this bridge. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my settings, raise them up to high end on the graphics, and let's take a look at the difference. Mm, really not much. Just kind of hoping those cranes would be a little more detailed. There we go. Got some helicopter pads. It's another place we can land in the helicopter. All right. Okay, so let's see. Let's uh So now I'm going to go up to ultra. I'm going to see if there's any difference. Uh, while I'm in drone mode mode drone mode drone mode okay Ooh. yeah a little jumpy here it's funny it doesn't look any better um, it just makes it run worse let's see how is our See, it still looks the same. Still has trees in it. Yeah. So this is a hotel now. And, uh, interesting. Do they have, is this like a entertainment area? type of park or something. All right. Okay. Well, I think uh, what we're going to do is fly back over to my plane. Because I don't want to leave it stranded. And, uh, Whoa! There you can see a couple of guys in there. All right. Well, I think uh, we'll just take off and then we'll end it. And I uh, want to thank everybody for watching. And um, it's kind of a fun little... Uh, fly it in this plane uh, I like flying it 
Uh, it's called the Extra 330. It's a lot of fun. Um, wow, I'm still in Ultra. I forgot to switch it back. <laughs> but you know, Ultra, it doesn't it doesn't seem any better as far as the graphics. That's what's weird. Hey, there's a Ferris wheel. I do need to move my head a little slower with the tracking and it'll do better. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Um, once again, uh, hit the like button. Uh, click the notification bell. You'll be notified when I stream again. Uh, maybe next time I will do American Truck Simulator or set of course. I, I do a lot of flying, so I need to do some driving. And... Uh, there is uh, what's cool in the uh, American Truck Simulator is I have uh, uh, these uh, heavy duty special loads. They're like really large and you have an escort and everything. See if we can find one of those again. But uh, anyway, other than that, you guys take care. Appreciate you stopping by. And uh, y'all have a good one.